Support for Just Seen It comes from Warner Archive Instant. Streaming hard to find movies and TV shows direct from the studio at WarnerArchiveInstant.com. Support for Just Seen It comes from Weaver's Coffee and Tea, makers of hand roasted artisan coffee and hand blended tea. Learn more at Weaver'sCoffee.com. A high-profile trial begins after a mysterious explosion in a London market. This is the most high-profile murder case in British history. Two lawyers with a romantic past are hired to join the defense team. Do you know of any reason which would prejudice your ability to carry out this case? No, my lord. No, my lord, I know of no reason. But as they are drawn into a conspiracy of lies, their lives are put on the line in closed circuit. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm Liz. And I'm Aaron, and today we're here to talk about the new suspense thriller starring Eric Bana and Rebecca Hall, Closed Circuit. We've all just seen it. Rachel, what do you think? So this movie starts out as a very compelling thriller, but when the main plot sort of hits a dead end, it transitions into more of a romantic movie, and for me, it just it loses momentum. I think it's a fine film. Okay, it's yeah. a solid film. I actually thought the beginning was weaker than the second half of the film for me. Hmm. Personally, the film starts off with split screen of surveillance camera footage, and then it explodes. <laughs> and it was like this. It was almost laughable. Like you're the the music increases, and all of a sudden you have this slow motion smoke and explosion. And for me, that was like that was the, the lowest point of the whole film is the opening <laughs> image, and that worried me. But then from that point on. I thought it grew to be a solid, commendable film. Well, I mean, as we go through and everything is really suspenseful and interesting, then part of the story sort of dead ends. We are forced now to look at our two main characters who are ex-lovers, and we're, we're supposed to explore that part of the story, which is more of a love story. I don't feel like there's enough character well, development yeah, laid right. down in the first two-thirds for me to the care problem. about they these the characters. Genre. The characters fit the genre, but what? there's just... There's I nothing they, unique about any of them. I think they service what? the plot well as yeah. a thriller. Nothing but unique it, about these characters? I mean, but when it turns into a romance, I'm like, I don't care. I care a little bit about both of them individually. I don't want them to die, so I'm, I'm swept up in the story. But now when I'm supposed to look at their ex-love romance, which isn't really part of the film, I, I don't care, and it loses me. It I doesn't agree. dip into melodrama. It doesn't dip into romance. No, it doesn't. You never really see a culmination of their relationship bar, like in, in a traditional yeah, sense yeah, of yeah. romance. But I movies. just don't care about their, their ex-love affair. The fact that they had this previous relationship is important. It's integral narrative. to the plot. Sure. But yeah. I'm just saying, I think the characters fit the genre, yes. I just don't think there's anything unique about the way they fit this genre. What is she doing here? Ask her yourself. She and I are not allowed to communicate. An exception can be made for the common courtesies. Though evidently not in this case. Until the actual delivery of the closed material, I am permitted to communicate with Mr. Rhodes. Whether or not I choose to do so is another matter. Well, this is written by Stephen Knight, and he's a really accomplished writer. I mean, he, he wrote the screenplay for Eastern Promises. He wrote Dirty Pretty Things. I thought it was really well written. It's a fascinating story, and it has lots of twists. I just think it's a little too by the numbers for me. What I did like about the script is that it set up a parallel between our two main characters and the way they received information, and I thought that slow build was really effective for a suspense film. My biggest problem with the movie is Eric Bana's performance. Eric oh, Bana. <laughs> Eric Bana. <laughs> what? Is, I just, okay, plain and simple. No emotion. Like this guy. He's British. He's, he's supposed to play a jerk, okay? And I he's just. Not supposed to play a jerk. Well, here's the jerk. problem. No, he is. The problem is, I think he plays a perfectly sweet fellow. He fits the script but fine. But everybody when, says he's a jerk. And when like you Rebecca read, Hall's character yes, says he's a jerk. And I when you read the press packet, I just don't see it, it says he's supposed to be a jerk. He's self loathing. He doesn't like himself. And that doesn't come across in his performance. And then, like you said, there are a few lines that allude to, oh, I hate myself. And you're like, well, he's I don't just, see that. He's it's not evident. But the press packet doesn't always reflect the intentions of the writer director. And so I don't think we should really base decisions off of that. I just thought they're, they're strong actors. Rebecca Hall is one of the best actors. Rebecca Rebecca Hall is great. Mm -hmm. No, she's fantastic. I love her performance. I mean, she's mm -hmm. believable. You relate. I related to her more than Eric Sure. Banner. Yeah. I liked her she's character passionate. a lot more. Yeah. And, and all the supporting characters are great, too. We have performances from Karen Jim Broadbent. Yeah, Karen Hines. Julia Stiles is in it for five minutes. They brought him in to be recruited by a local terrorist cell. The idea being that he would help plan a major attack, but ultimately betray his fellow conspirators. The last moment. At the last moment. And that's where it all went wrong. 
for me, the joy of this film, as opposed to you two, was that sometimes I felt like I was behind, sometimes I felt like I was ahead, I was catching up, I was trying to understand the British legal system at times. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like, and that helped with the suspense of things. Yeah, it kept totally. me engaged. And thankfully, we have a decent director at the helm, John Crowley. Uh, I think he has a real competence in filmmaking, and you can see it here. I mean, his cuts are great. He's got a great color palette. It's very stark, lots of grays. Nothing he's known really more pops. for his theater work. I mean, yeah. he's pretty new to film specifically. You see it, though. You see his theater. Yeah, he's a talented director. And I love the subtlety in the acting. When the movie ended, I was like, oh, I'm kind of disappointed that the movie's over. I'd like to see some more with these yeah. characters. Oh, yeah. No, so I did it that voice, too. And I it was still great. felt, I still enjoyed it. I just think that there's a lot of problems, and it's a good suspense thriller, but it's not like, oh my God, rush out right now. You have no, to see this movie. I don't think movie. it's destination viewing, yeah. but I think it's a well made film. This is a fine film, but it lacks the punch and panache of a truly gripping thriller. For that reason, I give it a stream it. Despite a few script cliches, Closed Circuit does manage to be a suspenseful film. I just don't think it's necessary viewing in a theater, so I say stream it. A fine film, a suspenseful experience, well written, well directed, and well acted. See it. Well, it looks like our votes add up to two full tickets, which is a stream it for Closed Circuit. Cheers! Cheers! It wasn't as good as Short Circuit. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Support for Just Seen It comes from Weaver's Coffee and Tea, makers of hand-roasted artisan coffee and hand-blended tea. Learn more at weaverscoffee.com. Support for Just Seen It comes from Warner Archive Instant. Streaming hard-to-find movies and TV shows direct from the studio at warnerarchiveinstant.com. <laughs>